welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for August the uh, 13th through August the uh, August the yeah August the 13th through August the 19th. Now this is for your Sun, Moon, and Rising guys, and these are general readings. So if you would have if you would like a personal reading, you can click right here on this link up here. And that will uh, give you some information on how to get a personal reading with me. Um, listen, guys, I'm so excited. We, I am up to over 4K in subscribers. That's huge for me. I am so grateful and I'm so ecstatic. When I upload videos, it kind of goes down a bit and then goes back up. So it might be um, a little below when you check it out, but it will raise uh, higher. So I'm really excited. And thank you thank you really thank you for subscribing if you're new here welcome i'm so happy that you stopped by and i really hope that you'll come back and that i hope you enjoy your readings here um i start off with um an astrological report for the week and then i go into the readings um for your horoscope and as i said before it's your for your sun moon and rising all the links will be below in the show more section you'll also get other links down there you can check out you know um check me out on patreon there's a link right here or below in the show more section and that's another way to support me um and check me out on instant go that's down below also uh, what else? I think that's it. If you are if you are returning, thank you. I really appreciate you because you keep coming back and you give me that inspiration to keep going with this. Um, now, the astrological report for the week. The big news is that Mars, and uh, tonight, I'm actually recording this on Sunday, Mars is moving, it's still moving retrograde, and it's going back into the sign of Capricorn. Now, Mars loves Capricorn, right? Because it can get things done. However, it is retrograde. So we may kind of experience some clashes business-wide wise because Capricorn kind of rules business and career and ambition and uh, Mars is get up and go and take action right so we might kind of have some this is look this is really a good time for you to look at all the blockages that you put in why do you procrastinate what makes you procrastinate is it fear is it what, a, what is it for you? It's good to look at that so that you can remove those blocks and get ready for when it goes direct to spring into action. This is a really good time to plan, right? To get your ducks in a row, to think about what is your next move? How are you going to make that move? So if you know that, um, when you know that Mercury is in retrograde and you've got this, uh, and you've got it and it's in Capricorn, which is very ambitious and uh, business oriented. You can really plan your future business wise and spring into action once it goes direct at the end of the month. Now, also, Mercury is retrograde, too, and that is really slowing down and getting ready to go direct on Saturday the 18th. Another good time to, you know, get your ducks in a row maybe get a maybe get a uh, an oil change for your car um, if you have to get to work leave a little extra early because you know you could run into some um, some delays on the subways or trains or things like that so it's very good to kind of leave a little extra early especially if you have an important meeting you know definitely plan ahead and leave a bit early better to be early than late isn't it and you can always hang out and get a cup of tea and relax before you go into your meeting or before you're going to work um so that's you know when mercury goes direct there's always a little uh time maybe a week or so maybe a week five to seven days of where the effects of mercury direct is still um, is still happening. So it's very important to remember that, you know, to allow for that. So if you've noticed that people are a little passive aggressive or you've got that, you know, silent freeze from some people, you know, that will all change and abate once 
uh, these planets go direct. Also, a good thing to be aware of is, or to be conscious of, is, you know, Mercury is all about electronic messages, right? Communication. So be aware, um, make sure that you are sending your message to the correct person when replying, right? Or responding. So be very aware. I mean, I think we've all done that. I've responded or replied to somebody um, in an error. So without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading for August the 13th through August the 19th. I'm really sorry this is late. I had some technical issues, but I'm back on track. So please forgive me. Mercury is in retrograde after all. Thank goodness for that excuse. <laughs> anyway, your first card out is the Five of Pentacles, darling. Okay, this means that you're feeling deprived in some way. I feel that you're feeling deprived of love, that you're not feeling like you're getting enough love from people. And I say that because you've got the lover's card clarifying it, and I don't believe that that's love. It. You're just not feeling the love right now. And I understand that. We've all been there. Um, this is, you know, this five means change and deprivation and... And, you know, I know that you know this, Sagittarius. I know that you know that there are all kinds of forms of uh, abundance. And we have to kind of shift the focus on gratitude and look at the abundance in our life. We're going to start to recognize the love. And we're going to start feeling it from all areas. Um, I'm looking down, I feel that this has been a very difficult journey for you. You've been on a very difficult journey. I know that. Um, I know it's not been easy, darling. I know. But this is coming to an end and I feel, look, you've got the next card that you've got. Okay, first of all, before I move on, right? So I feel that you're feeling deprived of love. But what when you've got the lover's card, it's about reflecting seeing yourself in somebody else's position it's about seeing yourself in them it's about um treating people the way you want to be treated putting that love out and it's definitely look we've got mercury in retro uh, sorry we have mercury in retrograde as well but i meant to mention mars in retrograde which is kind of a very passive aggressive kind of uh energy so it's important for us to remember, it's so easy for us all to be passive aggressive when we're feeling uh, a certain way. Um, so it's a, a good time to kind of look at the blocks, right? Because this is a blockage. Because you're feeling that, that means it's a blockage. So it's very good to kind of take a look at it. This is a perfect time for you to take a look at it and, and look at where it comes from and perhaps switch that energy around. And the next card you've got is the chariot, right? And the chariot is, this indicates that you've come through an extremely difficult journey. But guess what? You've triumphed. This is a triumphant uh, completion of that journey. Now, having said that, right, this in this particular card, I don't know if you can see it, but okay, so I'm going to pull it back here. So the the woman driving this car is dref, dressed in a purple, right? Indicating kind of royalty. Um, and then you've got the two sphinxes, right? Gold and silver opposing kind of energies and forces. So um, when this when the chariot comes up and they're kind of st stood still right so the chariot means movement and the chariot has been kind of fast energy and you and and in some tarot decks it shows you know the you know really fast the chariot kind of really balancing very carefully um for me this is about being in the moment it is about 
focusing on what is going on in the moment, but remembering to just keep the momentum going, no matter how difficult it is. Because sometimes when you've completed a journey, you just wanna go, ah, oh, that's it, oh my God, I'm so good. And you know, patting yourself on the back and I don't need to do anything now, let me sit here and eat bonbons. But when the chariot comes in, it's saying, don't, don't do that. For success, you wanna keep moving. And you've got the Six of Cups clarifying it, right? Now, normally it says the Six of Cups, well, not normally. It can mean that um, you, it would be wise for you to help people, to be helpful, to be in service. But what I'm actually getting uh, for you is because of this journey, you are being helped along this journey. You are receiving help. Help is coming in for you. Uh, Sagittarius and sometimes we may not recognize that help because we're so in our journey and so taken up with ourselves and our torture and pain and suffering that we are not really aware of the help that we're receiving but you are receiving the help so take a look around you and really notice or notice who's coming in who's helping you how are you receiving that help and, and also that help to keep on going, you know, that's a spiritual help that you're getting. Um, so acknowledge that. And now the next card you have is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords, this is a new beginning for you, Sagittarius. This, you know, this can be a beginning that feels really difficult. You know, this is a very uh, Mercury in retrograde kind of beginning. You know, you, may, you get a step forward and you get three steps back, so step forward, three steps back. back. Um, but really, when the sword, when the Ace of sword, Swords come in, I see the Ace of Swords as like the Ganesh of the tarot. Um, this sword comes in to get rid of all the blocks that are in your way. You, This is cutting out all the blocks and making that way. It's like a machete in a thick jungle yes it's difficult but guess what you're getting through slowly but surely and this is going to be an amazing gift for you this start and um so it also represents the intellect it can be a brilliant idea that you know you can start to manifest and guess what clarifying it is the emperor darling the emperor is about structuring it's about organizing. It's about putting rules in place and boundaries and really getting things, you know, structured and ready to go forward. And that's perfect. Guess what? Get your plan of action written down. This is about organizing, crossing your T's and dotting your I's because guess what? By the end of this month, everything's going direct, right? You've got Mars going direct. You've got uh mercury going direct mercury goes direct next when uh next saturday but you know you've got to give it a few days for it to really kind of build up momentum and then mars too darling so things are really going to turn around um but you need to use this time to plan strategically uh sagittarius Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. If you would like a personal reading with Mary, please go to www.liveinthesolution.com.